I want to start off by giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makar, Kodash. I'm going to say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai Mashiach, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh, Kala, Kala, Shalom, Shalom, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We're going to give double honor to the Apostle Nell, the Great Millstone. Teacher Roel, when I overseen the construction of the tabernacle of David, a more perfect tabernacle. Shalom to the Akim, Walk Bof, scattered abroad. Shalom to the said believers. This is Yahweh Sat, Banya Sha'ala, Banya Habuda, coming to you live through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Sami Yahweh Shai, by Shimon Mashiach Yahweh Shai, giving you another quick lesson. Um, gonna start probably a quick lesson. Um, I might just go through this Ephesians 2. Um, I might not go on. I might just grab a couple verses and end it. But this is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1. And you have he quickened who are dead in trespasses and sins. Now, who is that you that he's talking about? He's talking about the elect, the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, let me just I want because I want to go into that word quickened. Spirit the quickness. John six and sixty-three. John six and sixty-three. It is the spirit that quickeneth; the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. That's why I'm coming out of the words of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know. So in Ephesians 2 and 1, it says, um, let me grab it. Ephesians 2 and 1. And you have he quickened who are dead in trespasses and sins. And going back to John 6 and 63, we understand that it's the spirit that quickened for us. John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Strong's G 2227. Zoa poi Zoa poi To produce alive, beget, or bear living young. To cause to live, make alive, get life. But what? By spiritual power to arise and invigorate, to restore to life, to give increase of life, thus a physical life of the spirit, quickening of respect to the spirits and do with new and greater powers of life. You no, know, by spiritual power to arise and invigorate. Let's look at that word invigorate. Invigorate. Give strength or energy too, you know what I'm saying? So it's the spirit that quickens us and makes it makes us alive because while we were dead in our trespasses, we were we were dead in our sins, we had been cast out from um from being the children of the most high. We and so we needed a savior, you know, to save us ultimately from ourselves. And then when he came, he came and he taught us, he gave us the correct breakdowns of the scriptures, he gave us back the names. He quickened us, you know what I'm saying? And he quickened us in the last days, too. By how? By starting with the, the true leaders of Israel, the nation of Yasha Allah, who are the uh, so-called African-Americans, Hispanics, Native Americans, Latinos, and wherever they may be scattered abroad by giving us our apostles and elders to teach us, to give us this word. So it's the spirit, the spirit that quickened for us. So anybody, anybody, um, that's why... Um, the apostle and elders go into all the time that this, this thing is spiritual, you know what I'm saying? Like I said in 663, the flesh profit of nothing. 
So this thing is a spiritual, it's a spiritual thing. Why? Because every, everything ultimately is spiritual, you know what I'm saying? Through the will and power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shot. So Ephesians 2 and 2 says what? Where in time past, you walked according to the curse of this world. And that's why we were, that's why we were um dead in trespasses and sins. Because why? Let's go to 1 John 2 and 17, 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For the all that is in the world is what? The lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the, of the Most High abide it forever. So, it says, it says it's in um, Ephesians 2 and 2, where in time past you walked according to the curse of this world. Right, and First John two and uh, sixteen told us that the curse of this world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. What's the lust of the flesh? You know what I'm saying? All your all your, all your wants and needs. You know what I'm saying? I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I want to have sex. I want to I want to go buy this um pair of shoes. The lust of the eyes. Oh, I see I see things that I want. It's the pride of life. I'm alive. You know what I'm saying? I, you become puffed up with pride because you're alive. You feel like you get to make your own decisions. You might have great standing and great stature in this world and all that. But all that is of this world. And because we walked in the course of this world, we were dead in our sins and our trespasses. You know what I'm saying? Because to be currently minded is that is um is enmity with the most high. And those who are currently minded cannot please the most high. And all that is all all that carnality is of the world. So where in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. The spirit that not working from the children of disobedience. You now I'm talking about ultimately going back to the spiritual demon Shaitan, whose physical counterpart is the devil. You know, Shaitan just means adversary. Devil means deceiver. And the biggest deceiver on the planet Earth is the so-called white man, the nation of Edom, which is um the so-called white man. You know, the spirit that not the spirit that not working from the children of disobedience. So when you see that word disobedience, it means to go go against the rules or, or go against um um the wishes of somebody else, you know. Let's just get into the way it works. And we'll and then this is another indicator of why you no know, we like why um we say that the white man is the so called devil. The son of perdition. Strong's G five forty three. A Apithia. A it says abstinency. It says, uh, abstinent opposition to the divine will, to the divine will. And what's the divine will of, of the Most High, whose name is Yahweh? I get this scripture. I mean, Y'all know I get this scripture all the time. The divine will, summed up in one verse. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That's our whole job. And um, and. And um, the so-called white man, who's the nation of Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of, he bucks up against that. You see in his legis his legislations, his laws, everything that he promotes is just straight wickedness and against the scriptures. Every I I have yet to see something that they do that is in um, concordance or in, or in the same on the same accord as the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? And that's why this, it says the spirit that I know working for the children of disobedience. That's the satanic spirit that they have. It's a very satanic spirit that they push out into this world. You know what I'm saying? So Ephesians 2 and 3, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past and lust of our flesh. You know, like the same, yeah. Because everybody, we were all, all, you know what I'm saying? Everybody has a testimony. And that testimony starts with, I was in the world. I was doing this and a third. You know what I'm saying? Um... It, may, it it varies according to the, you know, a different Akim and different Akbaf, but it starts off with the same thing, you know. I was in the world doing certain things, and then one day I realized it was wrong. We were doing, we you know, we might have been eating pork. We might have been smoking weed. We might have been fornicating and doing all these other things, you know what I'm saying? The, you know, what the world promotes. Among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling desires of the flesh, and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But the Most High, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with the Hamashiach, by grace you are saved. And that's true, you know. 
because the Most High could have just did did away with us. You know what I'm saying? That, that's that's real mercy, because the Most High could have just did away with us. And like he 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 said it to Moses. You know, he told Moses when he was on the um he was on the mountain that he rather destroy the nation and and have him and have him start the nation over by himself. You know, but he showed mercy and he showed mercy to this day. Because he could have just destroyed us all. He didn't have to. He didn't have to send Yahweh Shah, but he he thought he had he he was merciful and and just. You know, he was long suffering with us. He wanted to give us another opportunity. You know what I'm saying to fulfill to get the promise that he promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, but the Most High, who is rich in mercy for His great love, wherewith He loved us. You know, because we're His firstborn. His 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 firstborn. You know, his his fervent lover, you know what I'm saying? We are we are the nation of Israel is the bride the bridegroom, you know. So even when we were dead in sins, half he quickened us together with Hamashiach, but grace you are saved. Yeah, cause cause when Yahweh Shah died and when and when he um when he showed the example, being the greatest example, being the greatest man to walk this earth, you know, keeping the whole law and you know, and suffering for righteous righteous snake. Righteousness, righteousness sake, he gave us the greatest example ever, you know what I'm saying? And because we were able, we're able to, even to this day, to read about what he did. And ultimately, like it says, the spirit that quick enough, we, we, he gave us the spirit, you know what I'm saying, as the comforter, the, com the spirit, Holy Spirit and the comforter, you know what I'm saying? We have been quickened with him because we we see his example you know we see it and ultimately you know what i'm saying through the work and the ministry of the apostles you know what i'm saying the apostles and the disciples and even our apostles today we still have great examples of great of great um righteous men to to help us you know and he said in verse six and have raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places and yahweh shah and mashiach yahweh shah that's right he raised us up together because the scripture, <clears throat> uh, Amos nine and eleven, you know, <clears throat> Amos nine, starting at um, I started nine. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in a sieve, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. And that's that love, you know? That's that love. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil evil the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Talking about the two thirds of the nation of Israel that will be cut off and die in this land. But ultimately, it's still mercy. They will be in the kingdom of heaven, you know, because all Israel shall be saved, and that's great mercy. But it says, in that day, will I raise up the table of da tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. Talking about the righteous rulership of King David, where we had the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom together in righteousness. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, and that's why it says in, in Ephesians, um, Ephesians two, and has raised us up together and made us sit. It made us sit together in heavy places in, in Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. It's talking about the tab tabernacle of David, you know, true, the true righteous um, Israelites. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Hamashiach Yahweh Shah. Like I said, he did. Because he didn't have to send us Yahweh Shah, but he did it anyway. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of the Most High. Not of works, lest any man should boast. You know, cause that's that's what a lot of Israelites like. To, is like, um a lot of Israelites forget that this thing you you didn't choose this for yourself. You know what I'm saying? There was nothing you did or deserved to be a part of this or have this opportunity to be a part of the way. It was through the will and power of the Most High that you were given this opportunity, and that, and and being so, you need to make the most of this opportunity. For for by grace are you saved through faith. You know what I'm saying? And by that grace. That grace is, you know, if we fall short keeping the law or if we fall short one day not doing a video or one day, you know what I'm saying, not not being, you know what I'm saying, as righteous as we can be, you know, we have a mediator to go to the Most High and, you know what I'm saying, and plead our case for us, you know. 
He says, not a works, least any man should boast. And that's that's important. Not a works, least any man should boast. Because the nation of Yashal is a proud nation, you know what I'm saying? Especially in these times. They love they love trying to flex and, and put on and say what they're doing and trying to and trying to say what they got more than somebody else, you know what I'm saying? That's why this this thing is a spiritual thing. And that's why this thing is not of man, it's of the most high. Because man man corrupts things. Man is a man is corruptible by nature. But the, the spirit is perfect and pure. And that's why you see a lot of you lot see a lot of people that fall out and get spewed out of this thing. And you see a lot of people that can't get in, come into this thing because they're corrupt. You know what I'm saying? They don't even have the humbleness to humble themselves and even try to and try to um you know be perfect as be per be perfect as I am perfect. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shah was pure. And a lot of people can't a lot of people don't have that in their spirit, you know what I'm saying, to work and to to achieve that mark. It says, For we are his workmanship, created in Hamashiach Yahashah unto good works, which the most high have have before ordained that we shall walk in them. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh who were called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. You know what I'm saying? That's ultimately going to and going into the history, you know what I'm saying? There was a great falling away of Israelites who were led into, into idolatry. And therefore, being led into idolatry and being led into the customs of the heathen, over time they completely assimilated into the cultures of the heathen to where they lost the former they lost the former remembrance of such things as, you know, sacrifice circumcising yourself, keeping all such commandments, keeping the high holy days. This time the third, you know, growing a beard, you know what I'm saying, not wearing mixed fabrics, all all, all these all the law sisters commandments. Wherefore remember that ye being in times past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called who are called armed circumcision, by which is called a circumcision in the flesh made by hands, that at that time you were fought Hamashiach, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenant of promise, having no hope and without the most high in the world. And that's that was that was us, you know what I'm saying? Even even that was us in this time right now. We were we were without we were without Hamashiach because we believed in the so called Jesus Christ. We were aliens from the Commonwealth of Israel because we didn't understand the true we didn't have the true understanding of the um the, we didn't have the true understanding of the scriptures, you know what I'm saying, which is the right of every Israelite is to have the true understanding of the scriptures, to know their to know the most high and to also have some type of have some inheritance in the land of Israel. And with strangers from the covenants of promise. What was the covenants of promise? That we would inherit a land, inherit a land flowing with milk and honey, and that, that not our seed would be innumerable, and that we'd be the greatest people on earth. You know what I'm saying? And having no hope and without the most high in the world. Yeah, because we were, we were in the world. We didn't know about Yahweh. We didn't have the true understanding and knowledge of these scriptures. We didn't have... um. For for the longest, we didn't know we couldn't do certain things. We didn't we didn't know what righteousness was. We didn't we didn't even know we didn't have an understanding of what anything was. But what? But now in Hamashiach Yahushai, ye who sometimes were far, ye who sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Christ. You know what I'm saying? We were far off, but we were but that were nigh means to draw near. But now Hamashiach Yahushai, ye who sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Hamashiach. Because we were able to be adopted back as sons, we were able, we were able to come back into this, come back into this glorious thing that we have. For He is our peace, who have made both one and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us. You know what I'm saying? It says, having abolished in His flesh, hold on, um. Having abolished in his flesh the the entity the, the entity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make himself twain one new man, so making peace. Yeah, that that new man is that that righteous man. You know what I'm saying? And some people might take the scripture saying we don't have to follow the law, but you have to understand the first clause it says having abolished in his flesh the enmity. You know what I'm saying? The enmity in the flesh, because the flesh is always roaring against the spirit. The flesh is always at war with the spirit. Even the law of commandments contained in, in ordinances. Right, you know what I'm saying? Because the law of commandments said if we sin, we, we had to um we had to give an animal sacrifice, you know what I'm saying, for the atonement of sins. We don't have to do that anymore. The law the law of commandments say that um 
if we was to if we were to you know what I'm saying catch a homosexual, we would have put him to death. Or if we kept catching adultery, we'd have to put him to death. But no, we don't do that anymore. Every we have grace. And that 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 is what abolished the fle the the enmity, you know what I'm saying? The grace. The grace came in and now we have an opportunity to get right. Not saying we don't have to follow the law, but we have a, a opportunity to get right because if you broke the law in the ancient days there was no second chance. If you did it, if you committed a sin that was unto death, you got put to death. There was no second chance. And that's why for to make in himself twain one new man. So making peace, you know what I'm saying? And that he might reconcile both both unto the most high in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. I'm just going to finish up the chapter. And came and preached peace to you which were afar off and to them that were not. That's the yeah, that, that's That was the um, the reconciliation of bringing both, you know what I'm saying? Yahushua said, I have sheep that are not of this flock. You know what I'm saying? That was Israelite foreigners. So he had, they had to be brought back. That's why the, the disciples were commissioned to go and preach the gospel to all nations. You know what I'm saying? To wake up those Israelite foreigners. And that's what we are into the, in this day and time. We are the Israelite foreigners. That were that are being woken up by this gospel. For though him we both have for through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Like I said, the, Mo, the Yahweh Shah is our mediator. If we go off now, we have somebody to go and um plead our case to the Father. You know what I'm saying? He's he's our lawyer, the Lord Yahshua. When one of us goes off, he takes up our case, you know what I'm saying, and gives us the best defense he can. Now therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners. But fellow citizens with the saints in the house of the Most High God, who are the saints, the Israelites, according to Psalms um, 50. You know what I'm saying? Gather together my saints who have made a covenant of sacrifice. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the house of the Most High. The house of the Most High, the tabernacle of David, you know, the tabernacle of David. We're one body. We're not one body. It's no, it's no. There's no um <clears throat> I can't mess with I can't mess with that brother. Even 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 today, you know, that's a perfect example because you know, if we if we're in this truth, you can see us as um we could see us as um, you know what I'm saying, Israelites. But we weren't Israelite foreigners, we're in the world. So when we have brothers that are still in the world, they're Israelite foreigners. You know what I'm saying? We and we still have to pull them out of the world if it's Lord if it's the Lord's will. You know, if you get what I'm saying. We were Israelite foreigners. We came back to the, we came to the truth. We became Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Partakers of the promise and partakers of the covenants. But we still have Israelite foreigners who are in the world that we still have to go out and, and gather. You know. And are built up the foundation, and are built upon. Like I said, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Yahweh Mashiach Himself being the chief cornerstone, right? Because Yahweh Shai came and laid that foundation. For us to come back, and the apostles and apostles and prophets built upon that foundation, and then even to this day, the apostles and prophets built upon the foundation, and for Akiam like me, a, a novice in this thing, to come in and build up and help build upon that foundation and raise up the tabernacle of David that's fallen, and whom all the building fitly framed together grow up unto a holy temple, the Most High. Yeah, because we are we the king, we are the temple of the Most High. That's it. Um, Corinthians speaks upon that. We are the temple of the Most High. And if any man defile the temple of the Most High, he will destroy him. In whom ye also are built together for an habitation of the Most High through the Spirit. The Spirit it's all about the Spirit, man. And it's the Spirit that quicken of us. That's why it's, it's, no man can take credit for anything that goes on in his ministry. It's the Spirit that's working within us, the Spirit of the Most High, to build up the tabernacle of David that's fallen. You know what I'm saying? To raise up the elect for Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. With that being said, Ecclesiastes <clears throat> 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. For the Most High and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. With that being said, Halawaiah.